मसल एनर्जी टेक्निक एम ई टी इंट्रोडक्शन मसल एनर्जी टेक्निक आर अ फॉर्म ऑफ सॉफ्ट टिश्यू और जॉइंट मेन्यूपुलेशन और मोबिलाइजेशन डिराइविंग फ्रॉम ऑस्ट्रोपैथिक मेडिसिन एम्प्लॉयड इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ द मस्क्यूलर स्केलेटल डिसफंक्शन एम ई टी इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ ऑस्ट्रोपैथिक मेन्यूपुलेटिव डायग्नोसिस एंड ट्रीटमेंट इन विच द पेशेंट्स मसल्स आर एक्टिवली यूज ऑन रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम अ प्रेसिजली कंट्रोल्ड पोजिशन इन अ स्पेसिफिक डायरेक्शन एंड अगेंस्ट अ डिस्टिंक्टली एक्जीक्यूटेड फिजिशियन काउंटर फोर्स मसल एनर्जी टेक्निक आर यूज टू ट्रीट द सोमेटिक डिसफंक्शन स्पेशली डिक्रीज रेंज ऑफ मोशन मस्क्यूलर हाइपरटोनिसिटी एंड पेन इंडिकेशन टाइटनेस स्पाजम कॉन्ट्रेक्टर और स्पास्टिक मसल रिस्टोर रेंज ऑफ मोशन मसल स्ट्रेंथनिंग कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन पेथोलॉजिकल कंडीशन ओस्टियोपोरोसिस ओस्टियोआर्थराइटिस मायोसाइटिस मस्क्यूलर स्केलेटल इंजरी टिश्यू फ्रेजिलिटी एंड हाइपर मोबिलिटी अनस्टेबल फ्रैक्चर वेरिएशन्स ऑफ एम ई डी फर्स्ट आइसोमेट्रिक कॉन्ट्रेक्शन यूजिंग एंटाकोनिस्ट इन एक्यूट सेटिंग विथआउट स्ट्रेचिंग सेकेंड आइसोमेट्रिक कॉन्ट्रेक्शन यूजिंग एंगोनिस्ट इन एन एक्यूट सेटिंग विथआउट स्ट्रेचिंग थर्ड आइसोमेट्रिक कॉन्ट्रेक्शन यूजिंग एगोनिस्ट और एंटागोनिस्ट कॉन्ट्रेक्शन इन अ क्रॉनिक सेटिंग विथ स्ट्रेचिंग फोर्थ आइसोटोनिक कॉन्सेंट्रिक कॉन्ट्रेक्शन फॉर टोनिंग और रिहेबिलिटेशन फिफ्थ आइसोटोनिक एसेंट्रिक कॉन्ट्रेक्शन आइसोलाइटिक फॉर रिडक्शन ऑफ फाइब्रोटिक चेंज टू इंट्रोड्यूस कंट्रोल्ड माइक्रोट्रोमा सिक्स स्लो इसेंट्रिक आइसोटोनिक कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ए सी आई एस फॉर स्ट्रेंथनिंग वीक पोस्टरल मसल एंड प्रिपेरिंग देर एंटागोनिस्ट स्ट्रेचिंग सेवंथ आइसोकाइनेटिक कंबाइंड आइसोटोनिक एंड आइसोमेट्रिक कॉन्ट्रेक्शन एमिटी ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ एक्यूटली शॉर्ट एंड राइट अपर ट्रेपेजियस टू इंक्रीज द रेंज ऑफ लेफ्ट साइड साइड फ्लेक्शन पेशेंट पोजिशन सुपैन लाइन आर्म्स बाय द साइड ऑफ द ट्रम थेरापिस्ट पोजिशन स्टैंडिंग बिहाइंड द हेड ऑफ पेशन With crossed arm, one hand stabilizes the shoulder, and second hand supports the cervical spine and atlanta occipital area. Procedure: Therapist passively side bend and rotate head or neck away from the side, being treated to just of restriction barrier. Now ask the patient to introduce 20% effort of available strength to take the stabilized shoulder towards the ear and ear towards the shoulder. Effort should be maintained for five to seven seconds. Now ask the patient to completely relax. Then therapist moves the head or neck, increases the degree of side bending and rotation where it is stabilized. Same procedure repeat two more times. That how we get new range. Dose of MRT three repetition one set. MRT treatment of chronically shortened right upper trapezius to increase the range of left side side flexion. Patient position: supine lying, arms by the side of the trunk. Therapist position: standing behind the head of patient. With crossed hand, one hand stabilizes the shoulder, and second hand supports the cervical spine and atlanta occipital area. Procedure: Therapist passively side bent and slightly rotated head or neck away from the side being treated to just of restriction barrier. Now ask the patient. Introduce more than twenty percent and less than thirty-five percent effort of available strength to take the stabilized shoulder towards the ear and ear towards the shoulder. Effort should be maintained for five to seven seconds. Now ask the patient to completely relax. Now therapist moves the patient head or neck, increases the degree of side bending and rotation where it is stabilized. Repeat same two more times. Now shoulder is stretched caudally. With active participation, and then ask the patient to relax. Therapist hold the stretch for thirty second. Dose of MET three repetition one set. MET treatment of acutely shortened right biceps brachii to increase the range of right elbow extension. Patient position supine lying. Therapist position standing beside the patient. One hand stabilize the shoulder. Other hand grasp the wrist. Therapist passively moves the elbow in extension at restriction barrier. Now therapist asks the patient to introduce twenty percent effort of available strength. Hold for five to seven seconds. Now therapist asks the patient to completely relax. Therapist passively moves the elbow extension in new restriction barrier. 
If it's a more two times that how we get a new range. MET dose three repetition one set. MET treatment of chronically shortened right biceps brachii to increase the range of right elbow extension. Patient position supine. Therapist position standing beside the patient. One hand stabilize the shoulder. Second hand grasp the wrist. Therapist passively moves the elbow in extension. New restriction barrier. Now therapist asks the patient to introduce more than twenty percent and less than thirty five percent effort of available strength. Hold for five to seven seconds. Now ask the patient to completely relax. Therapist passively moves the elbow in extension at new restriction barrier. Repeat same more two times. That's how we get a new range. Then ask the patient to completely relax. Therapist passively stretches the biceps in elbow extension. Hold for thirty seconds. MET dose. Three repetition, one set. MET treatment of acutely shortened right long flexors to increase the range of right wrist extension. Patient position, sitting. Therapist position, standing towards the patient. Procedure. Therapist asks the patient to actively perform forearm pronation, flexion of elbow, and extension of wrist. Therapist with one hand stabilizes the elbow and other hand thumb stabilizes dorsal dorsum of hand and finger stabilized palmar aspect of hand. Therapist guides the wrist into the greater extension edge restriction barrier. Then therapist applied resistance on the ulna side of the palm. Patient introduced 20% effort of available strength to attempt supination. Effort hold for 5 to 7 seconds. Now ask the patient to completely relax. Then therapist increase the wrist extension range at new restriction barrier. Repeat same process two more times. That's how we get a new range. MET dose. Three repetition one set. MET treatment of chronically shortened right long flexors to increase the range of right wrist extension. Patient position. Sitting. Therapist position. Standing towards the patient. Procedure. Therapist asks the patient to actively perform forearm pronation, elbow flexion, and wrist extension. Therapist one hand stabilizes the elbow and other hand thumb stabilizes dorsum of hand and finger stabilizes palm or palmar aspect of hand. Therapist guides the wrist into greater extension at restriction barrier. Then therapist applied the resistance on the under side of the palm. Patient introduced more than 20% and less than 35% effort of available strength to attempt supination. Effort hold for 5 to 7 seconds. Now ask the patient to completely relax. Then therapist increase the wrist extension range at new restriction barrier. Repeat same procedure more two times. That's how we get a new range. Therapist ask the patient to completely relax. Then therapist stretch the wrist into extension and hold for 30 seconds. MET dose 3 repetition 1 set. MET treatment of acutely shortened left pectoralis major to increase the range of left shoulder horizontal abduction. Patient position. Patient lies supine as the close to the edge of table with shoulder abducted 90 degree and externally rotated. Therapist position. Stands at the side to be treated. Procedure. Therapist grasps the patient's upper arm just above the elbow and patient grasps the therapist's elbow and holds this position. Patient's other hand plays on the pectoral fibers of treated side and therapist's other hand stabilizes this hand with thinner or hypothenar area. Now therapist passively moves the patient's arm downward until the first restriction barrier. Now ask the patient to introduce 20% effort of available strength in horizontal adduction against therapist resistance. Hold for 5 to 7 seconds. Ask the patient to completely relax. Now therapist passively moves the patient's arm in horizontal abduction at new restriction barrier. Repeat same procedure more two times. That's how we get a new range. MET dose, 3 repetition, 1 set. 
MET treatment of chronically shortened left pectoral is measured to increase the range of left shoulder horizontal abduction. Patient position. Patient lies supine as the close to the edge of table with shoulder abducted 90 degree and externally rotated. Therapist position. Stands at the side to be treated. Procedure. Therapist grasps the patient's upper arm just above the elbow and patient grasps the therapist's elbow and holds this position. Patient's other hand placed on the pectoral fiber of treated side and therapist's other hand stabilizes this hand with thinner or hypothenar area. Now therapist passively moves the patient's arm downward until the post restriction barrier. Ask the patient to introduce more than 20% and less than 35% efforts of available strength in horizontal adduction against the therapist resistance. Hold for 5 to 7 seconds. Now ask the patient to completely relax. Now therapist passively moves the patient's arm in horizontal abduction at new restriction barrier. Repeat same procedure more two times, that's how we get a new range. Now ask the patient to completely relax and therapist stretch the pectoralis, pectoralis minor and hold for 30 seconds. MET dose 3 repetition once. MET treatment of acutely shortened left pectoralis minor to increase the range of left shoulder retraction. Patient position, side lying on unaffected side, arms are lightly folded across the lower thighs with the side to be treated uppermost. Therapist position, standing behind the patient close to the edge of the table. Procedure, therapist threads her caudal arm anterior to the patient's elbow so that her caudal hand rests on the pectoralis minor with other hand on the scapula. Therapist applied posteriorly directed pressure to the shoulder to induce retraction at first restriction barrier, coupled with guiding effort from the hand on the scapula. Now ask the patient to apply 20% effort of available strength anteriorly to the shoulder against the therapist pressure. Patient's effort hold for 7 to 10 seconds. Now ask the patient to relax. Therapist passively moves the shoulder in retraction at new restriction barrier. Repeat same procedure mode two times, that's how we get new range. MET dose, three repetition, one set. MET treatment of chronically shortened left pectoralis minor to increase the range of left shoulder retraction. Patient position, side lying on unaffected side. Arms are lightly folded across the lower thorax with the side to be treated uppermost. Therapist position, standing behind the patient close to the edge of table. Procedure. Therapist sets her caudal arm anterior to the patient's elbow so that her caudal hand rests on the pectoralis minor with the other hand on the scapula. Therapist applied posteriorly directed pressure to the shoulder to induce retraction at first restriction barrier coupled with guiding effort from the hand on the scapula. Now ask the patient to apply more than 20% and less than 35% effort of available strength anteriorly to the shoulder against therapist pressure. Patient's effort hold for 7 to 10 seconds. Now ask the patient to completely relax. Therapist passively moves the shoulder in retraction at new restriction barrier. Repeat same procedure more two times, that's how we get a new range. After three repetition, therapist stretch the pectoralis minor and hold for 30 seconds. MET dose 3 repetition 1 set.